want to speak about relationships. Everybody's posting about it, and they got people confused. You got to be able to decipher what's real and what's not. I'm going to bring this up. So I seen something where they said that, like, when a woman has a child, that makes her less desirable. And I think that's bullshit. Damn near every nigga I know got stepkids. And damn near every chick got step stepkids. There's people out there that really believe that stuff. Modern dating is just really messed up right now. Women think they're players. And I'm just looking at it on the sense, like, why you want all that different DNA up, DNA up inside you? Because ain't nobody, everybody out here fucking up. I mean, you got people out there wrapping it up, but most people, they going all in. They know they is. That's what I'm saying. Like, once you want yourself to be more pure than that, you feel me? Like, you can't do the stuff that dudes do. That's just crazy. Like, we, we can have 100 kids in a year if we wanted to. Y'all can only have one. There's a reason for that. Back in the day, the purest woman was the first wife. That's we living in messed up times. A lot of people just led wrong. There's definitely pure women out there. Yeah, treat yourself like a queen. When you meet the right dude, you can become that queen. Oh yeah, I seen this trend going around. If your wife made 500,000, what would you do? And these dudes all acting like bitches. They like, they be cooking, cleaning, all that. Like what? I, I could never do that, bro. Standing on my own too, I'm gonna get it off the mud, all that. I don't, I don't want nothing from you. I, I don't care she, if I was dating a chick in a mansion. I spend a night, but I ain't moving in. Like, you're gonna have to go half on something or you come move in with me. Shit, I, I couldn't ever live off a chick. I seen both sides of it. I seen where dudes lived off a chick and they used to beat the brakes off them. And I seen where dudes lived off a chick and the girl just annihilated them all day disrespecting the whole nine. I, I always set the bar to that couldn't be me. Like I told a story, my last story I just told, I lived with a chick, but that's cause I, had, I didn't have to go to, so I didn't go to jail. If I, if, if, if that wasn't in play, I wouldn't have ever done that. Yeah, I'm standing on that. And I ain't, I ain't no more sucking shit, some stuff just better left, left unsaid, you feel me? I think the problem with the dating scene is everybody looking like, what can you do for me type, type of shit. There's, there's other things you should be more worried about. Learning about who this person is before you, you jump into something. If I'm feeling the chick, I keep it real from the gate. If I'm talking to you like I want to mess with you, I'm being for real. I can find the beauty in any woman. That's just, it's just me. I got, I definitely got a soft spot for women. I never let it, like, put me in a position like I was doing some sucky shit, some simp shit. So I kept it player every time. Like, my type would be just a down-to-earth chick and just willing to, willing to, grow, ready to grow. Like on some, some godly type stuff, you feel me? It's hard for me to let people in, so I could be stand, very standoffish. But I really enjoy my peace. I enjoy my daughter's peace. Why I'm being careful with women is because women hurt kids too. The saying goes, a good woman will bring the best out of you. A bad woman's gonna bring the worst out of you. I had to go through that because my greed kept me with that girl. And she bring out the worst to me. At the same time, it was my fault. I, I can never put it on nobody. And, and I was willing to.